Oh, Santa's going to be uncircumcised. I hear it. The ghost of my past! Welcome everyone! Merry Christmas to one and all! But Merry Christmas specifically to me. I deserve really nice gifts. And I deserve to be treated every once in a while, you know? And so my lovely, um, what shall I call you? Inventor servants. Yes, servants. Justin and Jocelyn have gotten me so many gifts. I have had basically no involvement with this video. I had the main idea and I was like, Justin, Jocelyn, let's make it happen. So the two of them are the masterminds behind this video. I assume first steps first. Oh, it's printed out. Isn't that lovely? Ho, ho, ho. Warm holiday wishes from the snowy reaches of the North Pole, Ethan. I hope this letter finds you in good spirits. However, it is with a heavy heart that I inform you of your high ranking position on this year's naughty list. Fuck! Fear not, dear friend, for in a spirit of goodwill and second chances, I've enlisted the resourcefulness of Justin and Jocelyn, two of your <laughs> digilant elves, to help me create a series of 12 unique challenges based on 12 videos you uploaded this year. Successfully completing them may just tip the scales in favor of a holly jolly redemption. May the snowflakes guide you through these trials. Number one, and every one of them comes with a present. This one comes from a little Spencer boy. Jesus Christ, <laughs> there's a lot of reading. As Santa, my watchful eye has perused all your delightful uploads from 2023. Amidst the multitude, one in particular sparkled like a beautiful crystalline snowflake. Allow me to unveil your first gift, a challenge. Savor, then appraise each of the gelatinous surprises concealed within the bag before you. A word of caution, there's a sprinkle of Christmas magic hidden within these treats, so tread lightly to avoid any mishaps. Oh God. No. Oh no. Oh no. There's so many! I have to redeem myself. How much alcohol did Santa put in these? It's over a hundred, so. Over a hundred what? A <laughs> hundred? But how much alcohol is in one of them? The Jello video from earlier this year. What a wonderful delight it was. As many of you know, I cannot stand Jello. The consistency of it makes me want to throw up. So we'll see what happens with this. Yeah, that does have alcohol in it. <laughs> There's a hundred of these. Each one has a different kind of alcohol. I'm done for. Look at all these guys. Wow, we have an overhead cam. <laughs> <laughs> like it. What's in this one, Jack Daniels? All three mixed together. This is all three mixed? This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> this is gonna take me 45 minutes to eat all these. <laughs> I don't know what it is, vodka? Mm. Rum, I knew it from the first taste. <sighs> <laughs> Don't worry about me. Why is this the first one? Let's make a line. Set myself up for success. I can conquer you. I can do this. I have to get on the nice list this year. Here, here, to Christmas. Uh, I. <laughs> Uh, don't tell me what to do. What's in the purple? Oh, no. Snoop Dogg, what have you done to me? I'm not gonna throw up. I can do this. When Jesus threw up, when he was re-emerging from the cave. No. I didn't throw up, but I got close. All right, folks, well, I'm going to save these for the end. I will do them. I will be put on Santa's nice list. I just don't want to throw up 10 minutes into the video. Number two and three are over yonder. Let's ride. All right, here we are in my kitchen, ready for round two. As you're aware of my fondness for cookies and milk, I observed your culinary skills closely through the year. Therefore, I've cash-happed Jocelyn and arranged for her to 
Here are the ingredients for chocolate chip cookies and homemade oat milk as your next two challenges. Now there's a, the, there's a special twist. During my deliveries, there are moments when I yearn for a little something to warm my old bones. I implore you to infuse them with a touch of your own creative direction. Consider it a unique request and let's see if you can truly spice up this festive treat. So now I have to remember, I need to make cookies and milk. So the, the oats, I remember. Do I remember? I'm going to do a half cup, full cup of oats, a full cup of water. Just a one to one ratio, I think. Wait, but was there more? There can't be more. It's just oats and milk, right? Must be. I'm gonna put it in a little more oat, okay? Now, what goes in a cookie? There's a little bit of butter, right? Correct. We're gonna do, now this is all just based off of memory. About two tablespoons of butter. No, more. Four tablespoons of butter. I don't know if that's four tablespoons. A quarter cup of flour. Half cup of flour. A clump of brown sugar. A smidge of baking soda. I don't really know what baking soda is. And then we're also gonna do a couple Spoonfuls of sugar. What else goes in this? Milk! There's gotta be a little bit of milk in this. But instead, what if I used eggnog? Santa loves eggnog and there's only a little bit left. Good. Little bit of Baileys never hurt the old man, did it? I should've used Baileys instead of whatever else I'm using. Cookie dough's supposed to be like way more solid, isn't it? Cause this is like batter. Yeah, and you have to, you have to, fuck. You, you, gotta, you can take the thing and press it in. It's gotta be way more solid than this. At least that much. Last but not least, chocolate chip cookies. Put about a quarter cup in there. Now this is looking like cookie dough. Splash more of Belize. Guys, I've just made cookie dough. We're going to use a little bit of forethought, which is something that I rarely use. And we're going to Spray this down. Up on the housetop, reindeer paws. And I'll get old Santa Claus. Up on the housetop, rip, rip, rip. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Four cookies for a jolly fellow. Do I need egg? Hmm, how would vegans eat a cookie if not for the lack of egg? They're vegan. Ish. They're kind of, <laughs> they're kind of vegan. All right, our oven is basically preheated. We've got our lovely cookies and we've got our milk that's sitting here simmering. We're gonna give this another good blend once the cookies are done because we want it to sit, we want it to simmer. We want, we want, it, we, 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 we want it to rest. And you know what? Now that I've even thought about it a little bit, I think that we will add a little bit of spice to that. The oat milk, Sansa wants a little pick-me-up, okay? We'll let that simmer while our cookies marinate in the oven. It's time to go on to number four. We just did two and three. This next one is present four and five. This year, I've seen you wander down a path quite unlike the one you trod in the early days of your YouTube career. I've witnessed many such acts of pride and vanity. The pouring of scolding hot coffee upon the scalps of your fans. The hurling of pricey wine at your assistant Jocelyn. Oh, the tales of hubris I've seen. Explore what's within. Indulge in a bit of reminiscing. And rediscover the essence of your youthful roots. Reflect wisely. Love, Santa. There's no love there, but I'm sure he does. Baby's food. A poppet, I've wanted one of these, Santa. Santa knows that I love popping pimples. This is gonna be sick. And wow, I'm so pumped that this is going along with the baby food because it looks really quite similar. Let's take a trip down memory lane to when I was a wee baby. Let's see what my youth tastes like. Oh, 
a try. Now, before I, before I take another bite, I think I should indulge in my old face. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. This is what my face used to look like. <laughs> I really go, I got like. Oh, bursting at the seams. Santa, to you. Oh, I'll do this one first. To you, Santa. All right, here we go. Number six. Ooh, it's a big one, guys. Let's see the letter first. A lovely Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. In the whirlwind of writing these letters, it appears I've overlooked something most important. A gift for Mrs. Claus this year. I cannot order as Christmas Day is around the corner and the elves are far too busy with their duties to make anything. But hold on a jolly minute. I've seen you conjure up all sorts of wonders in your videos this year. Can you whip up a little something for Mrs. Claus? You should have all the supplies needed in the bag. Just one tiny re request. Let's steer clear of a doghouse with her name on it if you'd like a Christmas next year. Oh, wonderful! Oh, yes! It's all coming together now. If I were Mrs. Claus, what would I want? Maybe I'll give her what she desires most. Now, what would that be, you're thinking? I think a lovely little evening with Santa's claws. A fire's place. Little of the brown from here for the log. Oh, and a roaring beast she is here. Is Santa's face, and he's got his coat on, but what he may not have on is a little bit of pants. Good, now that is a holly jolly Christmas. His arms are behind his back. Tied behind his back. Chains and whips excite him, just like Rihanna. He actually, Rihanna asked for chains and whips for Christmas. And Santa said, no, I'll be needing that. Santa's going to be uncircumcised because it's easier for me. <laughs> Santa's jolly smile. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the sake of this piece, a little bit of artist interpretation here. Santa has a big white beard, right? But the canvas is white. So instead, I wanted to take a little bit of white and a little bit of Brown. We're gonna mix those boys together. And the carpets do match the drapes. All right, now one last little thing. Let's introduce a little bit of color to give it some of those earthy tones. And for a final touch, a little bit of yellow for the stars and the bows. <gasps> you know what that is. Quickly, while Santa's painting dries. Ho, ho, ho. I will say I had some Christmas doubters. They don't look too shabby. I'll go back to finishing my painting. Just had to take those out of the oven. Sorry for the inconvenience there. We're gonna let those cool off a little bit. Don't want Santa to burn his old tongue. Let's get back to the painting and then we'll get back to the cookies. It's supposed to say Xmas down here in the bottom, but uh, I think that this is a jolly gift for Mrs. Claus. I think she will be thrilled to receive this. I think that she'll probably, on Christmas Eve, Mrs. Claus has got it pretty good as far as the attendance of her husband goes. He's around all year, except for Christmas Eve. So on Christmas Eve, when Mrs. Claus gets on her jammies and Mr. Claus, Chris Kringle, is off doing his duties, she'll take this out of her drawer and maybe one other thing that makes a slight noise, similar to a, an electric toothbrush and She'll use this image to have herself a merry little Christmas. Seven and eight. Ah, this just a simple gift, huh? Isn't that nice? What does Santa have for me today? Marvelous work. I'm simply tickled with joy at the thought of presenting Mrs. Claus with your splendid painting. I have a little treat in store for you, just as a token of my appreciation. Jocelyn, with her elvish culinary magic, has crafted a fruitful explosion of flavor for you to, uh, fuck. <sighs> What is this? Durian. What is this? Mac and cheese and mustard. Oh, it has mustard in it. Yeah, it's still not the right one, Jocelyn. Purple box, purple box. Remember purple box. Eddie's mac and cheese, purple box. Didn't fucking get it right once again. It's fine. 
but it's not any mac and cheese with the purple box. <sighs> Christmas pickle with some <laughs> gushers and a fruit roll up. Happy holidays. So really good. I hate how oh, oh. it just gets stuck in my teeth. And then it's also sticky. This is gonna get durian and jackfruit stuck in my teeth. So we got jackfruit, we got rambutan, and we have this. Let's start with the jackfruit. It smells <laughs> so bad. Really good. I can't have another bite because it's so good, Santa. Oh yeah, these guys, they look like lychee. Oh, actually, I like that. That's not bad at all. I don't really want to be eating it right now. <laughs> it's a weird thing. I've never felt this feeling before, but I just don't want it in my mouth. <laughs> oh. I know that this is such a white person thing to say, but when I smell it, my nose is like, you shouldn't eat it. It's like, dude, this is, Dangerous. You shouldn't put this in your body. I know that people eat it, but it's just, it's so pungent. Okay, folks, the cookies are taken care of. Now, we'll give the milk one last little, one last little thing. Now we will strain. We can't have all the guck and the gulp in there. All right, I think this might be way too thick. I think this is all, <laughs> this looks like a ball sack. Straight up looks like balls. We can just get a little bit of milk out of this. Well, maybe I'll just have to sample. Oh my. Ah, yeah. What if I just run some water through? Yeah, look how good that is. <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs> A classic milk and cookie from me to Santa. I've done something that I don't think anyone's ever done before. These cookies don't have a flavor. <laughs> it's remarkable. They, they lack any kind of taste. Now this, it's gonna have some taste. This just tastes like dirty water. <laughs> really dirty water. Now it is time for gift. Number nine. I got a peek, a very quick peek. And Santa, I'm quite offended. Amidst a year of many terrible, disgusting, and heinous actions, I will acknowledge there's a glimmer of something positive worth noting. Your involvement in numerous charitable, charitable endeavors, raising considerable funds for worthwhile causes, and the dedication you poured into preparing for Creator Clash, have not gone unnoticed. Delve into the bag for a modest gift from yours truly. A little something to see if that fighting spirit of yours still sparkles. After the festivities, a challenge awaits. We all know Spencer's got the smarts, but how about you? Ah, yes. I have seen these. Already for this? Uh, <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> This is awesome. You won't best me, ball. <laughs> I knocked down a man with a child, and I didn't even feel that. <laughs> I'm going to accidentally hang myself with this. Oh, man. Santa, that was fun. But Santa did say that there was something waiting for me. 
Reading and math for K through five is <laughs> what this is. Multiplication and division facts. Math facts practice worksheet. Let me just go and do the ones that I know right off the bat. 44, 55. Three times two is six. Eight times eight is six, not 16. 12 times eight, I don't know. Seven times seven is 36, no. Seven times seven. Seven times seven. Seven times seven. This was one that stuck out in my mind. Seven times seven. Seven times seven. That's a tricky one. <laughs> Three divided by 21 is seven. Yeah. 10 divided by 10. <laughs> is it one? <laughs> is it zero? One, right? 11 times 11 was always tough for me. <laughs> what goes into 12 to make 36? <laughs> Three. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Seven times 10 is 70, which means that seven times nine must be 63. <laughs> K through five, baby. Now, Jocelyn's gonna grade this, and I will dedicate myself to a jello shot for everyone that I get wrong. No way. Seven? Let's see what I got wrong. 10 times, 10 divided by 10 is one. It's zero. No, I put one. That's one. <laughs> it's just really <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's, it is just weird. It is just weird. But look at the way that I write any other zero. It looks like a zero. <laughs> it does kind of look like a zero. <laughs> but I meant one, so I got seven wrong. But I'm going to reduce, take away one of those because I did, act, this is actually a one. But if you could recall to the footage, I double checked with Lucas to say it's one, right? So I will do six more jello shots throughout this video. Make the jello shots appear. And then I'll do that again. <laughs> Number 10. Ooh, little gingerbread. One of them is a little bit. Buff, just like me. This one looks like me, right? This one looks like me, right? Ah, a recent video of merriment. Sharing libations with one of your dearest companions. Now Jocelyn's whipped up what I whiz whimsically call the chug jug. A concoction blending of every spirit from that jovial video into one merry elixir. A final taste test, my friend, to cleanse the sin from within. This is every alcohol, every one of them. So. There was Snoop Dogg's gin. There was Bruno Mars's tequila. Who's The Rock's tequila? There was a bunch of tequila. There was a lot of tequila. This is probably mostly tequila. Oh! Whoa! You know, that's not too bad. <laughs> I can't see. It's not that bad. Chug chug, not too bad. Pop up the recipe on screen, cause wow. All right, the penultimate gift. Number 11. <sighs> this one comes in a tall package. <sighs> ho, 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 Ethan. We're nearing the end of your festive journey. Your efforts have been truly jolly and Santa is ever so pleased. Now for a challenge that intertwines with your most extensive and finest work. The marvelous documentary. Oh, the behind the scenes antics, the tour's orchestration, and the post-production marvels. You, the crew, and all the involved showcased exceptional skill. However, as we gaze towards the new year, it's time to set your sights on grander endeavors. In that bag awaits your final challenge. A revisit to a theme that, was resonate, that resonated through the documentary. Five shows and content leading up to it. It's time to unwrap this challenge, my friend. You've conquered it once. Now let's embark on this final endeavor with the same spirit. So hold on, before we go into this, maybe I'll need the chug jug again for this one. What could be in this bag? You're trying to get me to drink my own pee again!
Give him what's one more time. want to just be known as the pee guy. I feel like I've grown beyond the need to drink pee for entertainment. I feel like I'm growing as an individual. I'm almost 30 now. I'm learning every day. I'm growing both as a person, an individual, and as a creator. And I think that in this next year, I really want to you know, level up my, my content a bit. I want to be more consistent. I want to make more creatively fulfilling videos. I want to make more stuff that means stuff. I want to stream more. I want to do all these things. But that's next year. So why not send off this video, send off this year with one final time. I should be paid a lot of money by this company, by the way. Lifestraw, if you're watching this, you fuckers should maybe Minimum six figures, okay? By the way. This is the last time ever. Ever! <laughs> ever! Ever! <laughs> I will ingest my own or someone else's urine for entertainment. This video doesn't do well. I'm gonna be pissed. I've been <laughs> cornered. I've been trapped because you and Justin know that once I opened this, I couldn't turn, I can't not do this. You fuckers, you put this in front of me. I can't not drink my own pee now. This is entrapment, <laughs> is what this is. The Krusty Krab is unfair. <sighs> to pee. I mean, it didn't taste like anything, right? It tastes like water. Don't. Even. Who you're harming here today? That's him. Hmm? This is who you're really harming. How do you feel now? Pretty bad, I bet. <sighs> All right, it's brewing. I have stage fright. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Pissed all over the fucking toilet. God damn it. She is pungent today. I have to like cover up the smell. <laughs> See, it takes a really long time to get through the filters. And you get jump scared by it too, because you don't <laughs> you don't know when it's coming. <laughs> it has to travel through all the carbon filters. Ah! <sighs> No, I'm just gonna spit it out. Yes, actually, I do. Justin, why did you do this to me? Justin, no more pee in future videos. The father, the son, the Holy Spirit. Listen, I don't wanna fucking hear it from anybody. It was barely any pee. It was a spit full of pee, okay? I don't care how much pee was just in my mouth. I tasted the urine in the straw and it went into my mouth. So I don't wanna hear anybody enhance the video and say, oh, you can get a little bit of pee. I'll fucking kill you. I hope that I've made Santa happy today. And I hope that I've made Santa's list, but there is one final gift. And I don't know if it's a gift or a challenge, but I hear that this gift is taking place outside. So let's go. And now here we are to the final gift of whatever this video is going to be called. We have a lovely little stocking with my name on it. Originally, my thoughts were the following. Either it was gonna be a mariachi band for some reason. I don't know why, but that's what I thought. Or two, it was going to be Mark shooting me with a paintball gun. And I really hope that it's not that. Here we stand at the crossroads and I'm not gonna be in pain, physical pain. 
right? At the crossroads of challenge and redemption. A salute to your perseverance. A commendable effort to sway the scales in favor of the nice list. Now ponder, Ethan, the shadows that led you to the naughty list. Reflect on the transgressions, the hurt inflicted, the crimes committed, and the bits you've stretched beyond their limits. Yet in this ret retrospective sea, one deed looms above all, a malevolence so profound, so repugnant, that it stain defies erasure. Ethan, brace yourself for, I'm not gonna get hurt physically? I, well, I won't feel pain? A little bit? What did I do that was so bad? What did I do this year? <gasps> oh my God, Leon Hart is gonna come and punch me in the back of the head. Brace yourself, for the moment of reckoning has come. The time for revenge is not. And the echoes of your actions will resonate <laughs> far beyond this festive realm. Am I gonna get covered in glue? I really don't wanna get covered in glue right now. <gasps> Wait, revenge for a sin that I committed. I have a feeling that the sin I committed was stealing Mark's idea for Egghead Gumpty. I'm going to be egged by Mark because of my gumption. Oh God, I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. The ghost of my past. Ah! <laughs> I was correct. You bastard! I was correct! Why are they hard boiled? Because I didn't want them shell on and raw because that could hurt! <laughs> this, I think this hurts more. No, I was I was correct. You can cause blood force trauma <laughs> if you throw raw eggs, but these are hard boiled. <laughs> so they're softer and safer, but I'm still angry at you for stealing egg and gumpty! I was correct. Bitch and a half! Take one of these. Two more. That's correct. And last one. Oh man, you really got me. Yeah, you'll think twice before doing that again. Man, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me for stealing Egghead Gumpty from you. I don't know. Do you think you'll play it? Probably not. Why? You would make a better playthrough of Egghead Gumpty than I ever could. Well, I know, but you know, the game of YouTube is you get to the game first or you're irrelevant, so. Exactly. Look at these guys. Did you make these yourself? No, Amy. Amy made these, yeah. wow. Anyway, this is as far, oh yeah. This is as far as it was planned. Damn. Yeah. Well, thank you. Jocelyn you wanted to throw raw eggs at you. Oh, raw eggs? Yeah, I know. We kept Wait. saying that that's a bad idea. Why is it bad? It could break your bones. Really? It could, you could lose an eye. Why? Because it's a fucking egg. But the, it's harder now. No. <laughs> you know how strong an egg is? Oh, with the shell? Yes. Could it actually? Yeah. Really? If you throw it, it could land on its side and it would break pretty easily. But if it lands point first, uh... it can inflict a lot of pain. There's a lot of hazing rituals. This is a bad idea. If you want to egg someone, don't do it. Because there was a lot of hazing rituals back in the you know, college frat days. Throw eggs, and I, I've got burned in my brain. There's this video of like some poor kid just getting the absolute, and it was like an egg would hit and it would bruise instantly. And, Damn, yeah, you so. wanted me to be in pain more than I already have today. <sighs> Horrible. You know what happens when something's placed in front of you on camera? You have to do it. Oh, sure, yeah. So this whole day was about going through the things that I did this year, a bunch of different things. So I, I did a bunch of different challenges that I had done and blah, 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 blah. And then one thing was like talking about tour and then talking about the documentary and the theme that kept occurring through that. So they put a life straw in front of me again. So I dabbled, I had to. <laughs> in what liquid? Urine, once more. Oh, and okay. I said, this is, the, this is really the last time. <laughs> This is really the last time, oh, guys. Yeah. You know, I haven't since. I know, Those because days. nobody's nobody's made you. No, you made a whole, like, song dance. No, I know, I know. I leaned into it, but I thought that maybe this was the year. Well, maybe this next year, 2024. No, okay. New year, new me. Oh, I thought you were off of me. That I'm oh, of no, me. maybe this is the year that I stop. That I, you know. Well, you got Dry more, January. You got a few more days left. You might as well. <laughs> might, as, might as well indulge. Yeah. Who am I, Savvy? You got a few? Yeah. There? Oh, many. Got a pissner. I'm gonna cut that one out. <laughs> up, up, up like a pilsner, but piss. Coming out. It's, it's, it's bad. Now that our beef is squashed, you want to join me inside, and we can 
have a nice glass of eggnog. Oh, yeah. Well, come on. Right. Happy holidays. Is Amy here? I'm <laughs> <laughs>